see what we can discuss here. And we came up with a couple questions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and forth. And then once I'm done, we're going to have you guys ask the questions. Okay, so don't be shy. This is a fun event. We have kids here. Everybody's open about it. Just don't be graphic. Okay, so um, let's go with our first question for uh, Lisa. Um, all right, so how did you land the Kiss Meets the Phantom gig? Um, it was actually one of the first movies I ever did. I think it might have been the second one that I ever did. And it was when I first moved to Los Angeles from New York. Um, I got called out by my agent to go to this audition, and I showed up in all of my proto-punk attire, which I wear in the movie, um, although they embellished the jacket with the, um, the lightning bolt. That was not on my jacket at the time. They asked me if, if it was okay to put it on there. Um, that jacket, by the way, has since flaked and peeled. It was so worn that there's there was literally no leather left on it. Um, it was, I think, it must have belonged to a kid at some point who was really small. And, um, I got it at a thrift store in New York, and it meant a lot to me, and uh, it came to mean a lot more after I did the film. Um, anyway, so so I auditioned for the part, and I got it, and I, I think I got it solely on the, on, on the wardrobe. Uh, when I showed up to my first day of work at, at Magic Mountain, it was... Uh, 104 degrees, and I was wearing all that leather, you know, the leather boots up to here and everything, and uh, everybody was overdressed for the weather, and uh, they, the wardrobe people basically had to spend the day trying to keep us all from passing out by spraying us down with water and putting uh, all kinds of solutions on the back of our necks and things like that, so it was a, <laughs> turned into a hardship exercise of another kind. Thank you, Lisa. So the next question we'll have is for Vic. And uh, Vic, um, we discussed a little earlier about um, the actual Unmasked album cover, and what is the connection to Prince Valiant? Okay, originally KISS found me because I had illustrated a image of a knight descending a staircase in a medieval castle. And I had done this for a client and I advertised with it a little bit in a couple of places and they saw the image and called me up and said, we want you to do a KISS album cover, this is the terms. Do the first panel, we have 13 panels, and if we like what you did with this thing, but if you could translate this into something that KISS can use. And so, KISS basically is very cartoon. You said not to be graphic, but in my case, being graphic is the whole deal. So, um, to put it graphically, KISS is a cartoon. They saw me from a cartoon that I had illustrated. The cartoon was uh, very academically drawn, even though it was a cartoon. It was like one of those things where it was just heavy drawing, but fantasy drawing. And, what I wound up doing was giving them okay. What I wound up doing was giving them a uh, a blueprint of what the first panel on the Kiss album cover looks like. No, no painting. They understood how I painted, and they wanted to see how I designed, and that's how I got the cover. Which is very exciting because I was 27, I was 26 years old, and it was a big job. It's like all of a sudden I could tell people what I did, and then I could also say yes, I did a Kiss album cover, which is a lot more than saying you're an illustrator. Because you don't have to dig with KISS. It, it has had its identity since its inception, so. Awesome. So now we're gonna go back to Lisa. And if you could just get that microphone real close, like okay. almost, like you're gonna shoot it up. <laughs> so okay, so another question for you Lisa is, 